course of my time here with BRCC over the you know past 10 years, you know I've seen the college grow from not just enrollment but growing in the offerings that we have for the students and, and the programs that we offer and being able to um, not only provide courses for transfer, um, students that are you know wanting to move on to their bachelor's degree, but being able to provide training that prepares students for the workplace. Making connections with people, helping them become better, whether it be better students, better scholars, helping them achieve dreams or goals, especially helping students understand that what they might think is not attainable actually is. I think many people tend to underestimate what they're capable of, many people tend to not to realize what their full potential can be, and so helping people do that is very enriching. I find it very enjoyable. Actually, my first class I took here was Business 101. Ironically, that is a class that I actually have taught here as well now that I've gotten my master's degree. But at the time, it was a business course that just went over the overview and kind of each functional piece of business from finance to marketing to accounting to human resources and all these different areas. And uh, at the time, I didn't know what I wanted to major in. Um, I knew I was going to get a business degree, but I didn't know where, where would I specialize in when I went to a four-year school. And I got introduced to marketing and the concept of branding and strategies in order to uh, influence buyers' decisions, and that really sparked a strong interest in me. And that, from that day forward, I knew I wanted to go into marketing. I graduated from BRCC in the E-Tech program in 2007, and I recently completed my own independent film called The Climb to Katahdin. One of the biggest things that comes out of a film school is the connections you make. If it wasn't for some of the people that I met in the E-Tech program here at BRCC, uh, I don't think this film would have turned out quite the same. Uh, their, their opinions matter very much to me, and several times they sat behind me and told me what, uh, what should be in there and what shouldn't. So um, once, I, once I knew that it was good enough for some of them, because they're harsh critics for a lot of films, once they gave me the okay on certain scenes, that was it. Uh, you know, I knew that I hit the spot that I wanted and, and, and uh, the, the general public uh, seemed to agree with that. So the connections I made uh, at Baton Rouge Community College uh, and the film group there is just really outstanding. And, and again, my, I don't think my future would have been the same without them. Well, a lot of people don't see welding as being very artistic maybe, but there is a real art to it. And as an artist, I, I find that art and I try and perfect that skill. And there's a lot, actually a lot of beauty to it. Even though it's just hot metal welded together, it's, it's very interesting to, to watch that happen. I think it's really um, so rewarding is when you're in the classroom, you actually get to connect with the students and, and you are in, you're able to really see how you're making a difference in their lives. You, you're able to give them the instruction and see them grow in, in their educational path. And then you actually see them to graduation. And it, it's so fulfilling because you see that they have the capacity now to start changing lives. Uh, my educational experience began at Baton Rouge Community College in 2004 as I enrolled right after high school into the business program. I received my associate degree in business in 2006 from BRCC. Uh, from there, I transferred to LSU to pursue a bachelor's in business, where my major was marketing with a minor in sociology. Uh, from there, I left, moved to New York. I worked for a marketing firm for a year, doing experiential marketing for Verizon Wireless. 